In other news, pink is the new red, at least in the solar system. That's right, pink is the exciting new shade of the season, thanks to the newly discovered planet GJ504b. And while the name may not be that sexy, the color sure is. Located 57 light years away from Earth, this stunning designer planet orbits around a sun similar to our own and is a sizzling hot 460 degree Fahrenheit. Now, research teams spotted this little fireball, which also sets a new record as the lowest mass world ever detected by using infrared data from a Subaru telescope in Hawaii. So watch out, Mars. There's a new lady on the block, and astronomers are just going wild for her. What up, everybody? King JB here. First and foremost, I really wish you bitches would stop trying to turn everything into some horse shit. This is a damn planet. Not a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I know you was trying to use satire, trying uh, not necessarily satire, but I know you was trying to just make it a nice little segue into the story. But get the fuck out of here. I'm a firm believer in Planet X and Nibiru. And this is why. We discover new planets all the time that's close in our solar system. So the belief that Planet X lives out there is not that hard to believe. In 1983, it was spotted. Now, NASA tries to keep shit quiet, but it was spotted nonetheless. When it comes to this planet you just saw, I'm excited that it exists. I'm excited that we found it. It's a hot planet in terms of heat. 400 and something degrees, that's a hot planet. No question. Uh, definitely ain't none of us living there. But the bottom line of it is, I use this video that we just seen to reference Nibiru and Planet X. So many people think that we're just conspiracy theories, a theorist, and that we're crazy because we think that Planet X exists. Even though Planet X has been talked about for a long time. Planet X, you know, it's been seen. Now, whether, whether, I mean, of course not all the videos you see on YouTube about Planet X or about Nibiru is true. But it doesn't mean that it was not seen by NASA. They admitted it themselves in 84, 83. And then all of a sudden they just stopped admitting it. Little, a little fact, do you know Pluto? was called Planet X before it was Pluto. And do you realize that the reason they stopped calling Pluto a planet is because they realized that there was so many other planets out there, they would have to name them all. Right there, in the vicinity of Pluto. So the bottom line here is that the lazy asses don't want to name all these damn planets. Now we have J726, whatever the fuck they called it. And yes, it's pink. Which shows you the variety of things that's out in space. With that being said, this also takes me to another topic, which is extraterrestrial life. Does it make sense for all this huge-ass universe to exist and life to only exist on one planet? Out of all the billions of galaxies and billions of planets, we're it? Of course we're not. We're the smartest? Of course we're not. You can tell that by looking at people like Miley Cyrus and shit. We're definitely not the smartest creatures ever created. There's no way. If so, God, if he's real, did a bad fucking job. Anyways, I'm glad to see this planet. I'm glad to bring that news to y'all. I'm sure some of y'all have already seen about it, of course. <clears throat> but I'm excited to see it. And I'm, I, I firmly believe that Planet X will be seen and realized soon enough. I'm still going to do my video on Planet X very soon to explain to y'all what the fuck's going on with Planet X. Um, but it's, it takes a little bit more work than just pressing record for Planet X. 
because I want to get the information right and present it to you. That way, you don't think it's just some fat motherfucker talking about Planet X. See what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm out of here, man. Big ups to Jay, whatever the hell name it is. Big Pink Planet. Of course, everybody's got to turn it into sexualize it and say it's hot and shit and sexy. No, it's not. It's just a pink fucking planet. It's not sexy. I don't want to fuck it. Some of you people trip me out. And it's the same assholes that want us to dress our kids sexy. Why would... You know what sexy means? It means you want to fuck it. That's what sexy is. It's attractive enough to create sexual thought. That's why sex is in the word. If something, if you think something's sexy, you want to put your dick in it. I don't want to put my dick in a 400 degree planet. Period. So it's not sexy. At all. I'm out of here. King JB Uncensored. At official King JB on Twitter. Get at me.